another indie filmmaker who's sort of in the last decade is moving along that that um, that uh, an ascension towards uh, projects that are perhaps a lot more have a, a little bit more coin um, is uh, Patrick Bryce. Um, Patrick is part of a, a smaller nucleus and uh, among the LA set filmmakers. Um, we know him for his col uh, collaborations with the Duplass brothers, who sort of like um, brought him under their wings. Um, well, this week, uh, HBO Max is getting behind another book to film project for the filmmaker. Um, and again, it, it's a, it's a, it's a, um, it belongs to the larger uh, horror uh, world. Um, so let's dig more into um, Patrick Bryce's next project called The Wild. Sure. Um, so Patrick Bryce, uh, he broke out essentially with this sort of, uh, indie horror franchise of The Creep, which he works closely with Mark Duplass on those films. And then he's directed episodes of the, the Duplass produced series, um, Room 104. But I, I think this project um, probably marks, he's done a couple other films in between. He did The Overnight, which is sort of um, a low budget sort of rom-com. And then he did, uh, well, not really a rom-com, but kind of relationship comedy. Mm -hmm. And then he did Corporate Animals, which is sort of a black comedy horror vibe, uh, which really didn't, it played at Sundance, but really did not go much further than there. Um, but I think this HBO Max project represents his biggest breakout opportunity yet. It keeps him in genre territory where, he, where he's probably done, in horror territory where he's probably done his best work. Um, and it gives him a unique setting to work with if the story follows um, a young woman who's sort of made a lot of bad choices. Her parents send her off to a wilderness boot camp where she meets other people like her. But the twist is that something happens in the woods that none of them have expected. Uh, and so that's where the sort of horror and suspense thrills um, come in. So, um, I think it's a stepping stone project um, for this filmmaker uh, and on a platform that's going to give him probably his biggest audience yet. So worth noting is that um, since Corporate Animals and before this project goes into production, he'll have completed something that he filmed in Vancouver, um, I believe, early uh, last year. And that's There's Something Inside Your House, and which is, once again, a book to film project. And once again, features uh, a teenage girl setting. Um, and that one is, it reminds me of Brick a little bit, um, the, the Joseph Levitt uh, uh, indie star with, uh, by Ryan uh, Johnson several years back. Um, and this one's about a, a, um, a girl and a series of murders that occur in a high school. Um, so yeah, uh, for, for, for Patrick Bryce, um, it's an important, I, I'd say it's an important two-stepper in his case. Um, the source material for this is written by Owen uh, Laukinen. I'm not sure if he's finished, he sounds finished, but um, um, yeah, it, it appears that, um, that the studios have taken notice of um, Patrick Bryce and all his work. And, um, and yeah, he tends to move between gag humor and uh, and like overt uh, horror um, wouldn't necessarily be um, something that I f we find here, but but uh, I'm curious to see if um, if this project might uh, harken back to maybe some 1980s um, uh, horror like Friday the 13th or something. Um, again, I didn't read too much into this project, but perhaps that's the direction that we might find ourselves in, especially if the project is, uh, um, you know, it's a mid-level five to 10 to 15 million um, range. Yeah, it'll be, you're right. That's an interesting point. Um, what kind of scale he'll be given to work with. And, and it's good to mention the Netflix project that completely, that's completely slipped my mind. So it sounds like he's on the ascent. Um, but still playing in territory that that is very comfortable for him but to have maybe the resources 
that Netflix or HBO Max um, have at their disposal. Um, it'll be interesting to see what he does with that sort of access and and if he expands his his sort of cinematic palette a bit. Yeah, certainly the 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 craft services on these two films um, might actually be uh, in the same ballpark as the entire production for Creep. So that's definitely he's definitely going up there in terms of uh, larger and uh, more significant projects. I'm Eric Lavallee. I'm Editor-in-Chief and Site Owner for IonCinema.com and this is Kevin Jaggernaut, Contributing Writer for The Playlist. And together we are Indie Sponge.